Hey yo, hey everyone, Skylinks here, bringing you part one to our ongoing Batman trilogy saga review series, whatever you want to call it. Uh, in my update review, I said that I wasn't going to do anything comic book related. I lied. Uh, for me not to do, for me to have a Batman review saga and not do anything comic book related, it's kind of like having sex without having the woman there. I mean, yeah, technically that's masturbating, but you're just cheating yourself. And if I didn't do comic stuff, I'd be cheating you guys. So, I thought I'd do a few select uh, series of comics. And starting off today, we're going to be doing... Let me see if I can find it. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> one of my favorite Batman comics. Batman, year one. Okay, let's talk about Batman year one. Get a nice little look of it. Okay, Batman Year One. Um, as you know, there's different Batmans, different times. Uh, Earth One, Earth Two, New Earth. Or at least I hope you guys know this. If not, look it up. Kind of explains how, you know, there's a Batman in the 40s, the 70s, and now. But uh, this is a retelling of the first year that Batman was in Gotham for New Earth Batman, who is the current mainstream Batman. Um, it's, it was made, uh, it's Frank Miller, it was done up in 1988, I believe. Um, the artwork is, okay, uh, I, I think they could have done better with the artwork, but it's very gritty, and it's very dark artwork, which kind of works with the comic, seeing it is a Batman comic. Um, awesome story, awesome story. Um, it's told by two perspectives, it's told by Jim Gordon, who was the lieutenant at the time, first come in Gotham, and then by Bruce Wayne, who um, is just returning to Gotham and first donning the Batman mask. Um, so, it's really interesting to see what they thought of all the events happening, how they reacted, what was going through their mind. thought that was pretty cool. Uh, the story, when I'm going to review these comics, unlike my Angel comics, I'm not going to tell you the whole entire story. I'm not going to give you the ending. I'm just going to tell you the basis of whether you should get this um, or not. And just give you kind of a general idea of what it is. Obviously, like I said, you know, this is the first year Batman is in Gotham. Uh, it's pretty dark. Pretty dark. Uh, not the darkest thing we've seen from Batman, but it's still dark enough. Um, it's a quick read. I'm not going to lie about that. Uh, when I got this, I read it in less than an hour. Ongoing. Um, look how thick it is. Well, it's pretty thick. And, um, it's a series of comics, so. But the ending is kind of just descriptions and artwork. It's not actually part of the story. So, you go through this pretty quickly. I think there's four chapters? Yes, there's four chapters. So it's a quick read. But it's definitely worth getting. There's also Batman Year 2 and 3. Um, I have not read those yet. Uh, I was told when I bought this not to read them. So, I'm debating uh, whether or not I should. I'm thinking about it. Not sure. I kind of want to get other stuff before I get those. So, anyways, get Batman Year One. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. Every Batman fan, every hardcore Batman fan, every true Batman fan, search in your heart. You guys need this. Even if you don't collect comic books, you need this. I'm not huge into comic books anymore. I just collect them, you know, when I feel like I need to. And this is definitely a must have. Paperback is, it can range from 10 to $15. You can find it online for Amazon for $10, but you're going to have to pay the shipping. I got mine at a store for uh, 15 so it's not a bad deal. Ugh, excuse me, I just ate lunch. Today was kind of a crabby day. I went all the way down to the supermarket. Okay, first of all, school stopped. Totally. I kept on falling asleep. Then I went to go down and see if I could get transferred so I can go on to a new college. And then I had to go to work, pick up flowers that were supposed to be blue roses for my girlfriend. But the guy barely spray, uh, spray painted it. So it looks like white flowers with like a blue shadowing. Luckily, they only cost like one dollar because the person felt so sorry to me, so. And lunch kind of sucked today, so. Anyways, 
Enough about my day. I didn't need to say all that crap. I just wanted to share that. But, um, here's some of the stuff that will be going on for Batman, uh, comic book wise. We may do more, we may do less, and it is in no particular order. Um, uh, obviously we just did year one. Uh, we're going to do the Hush series. Hush series was awesome. I definitely want to do that. The Killing Joker, uh, Dark Knight Returns. Uh, I was thinking about doing Long Halloween, but not needed. Uh, Dark Victory, uh, Infinite Crisis, even though that's not just Batman, that's like all of them. I think I'll do it anyways. Um, Under the Hood, maybe. Oh, I kind of just wrote down stuff I want to do, so. Uh, I decided not to do the Arkham Asylum one. But whatever. But, uh, yeah. So, that's our first comic book review for Batman. Like I said, I'm going to do Batman the TV show, movie, comics now. I'm going to do everything, so don't worry. Um, but yeah, definitely a must get. So anyways, this is Skylight. We're going to just say peace out for now. There's nothing really more I can say about this without ruining the whole ending and the whole story. So pick it up. You'll enjoy it. Okay? So Batman, year one. This is Skylight saying peace out for now.